star populations. Astrophysicists categorize stars into different populations in terms of its materials. They analyze the light spectrum of the stars to analyze its materials. Atoms differ with the amount of neutrons and protons in its nucleus, and due to quantum mechanics, specific atoms can only absorb a specific energy of photons. For example, this is an electron on its ground state, which means it's at its lowest energy level. When there is a photon crosses his path, if the photon's energy is matched with the discrete energy levels of its atom, the electron will absorb the specific photon and jump to a higher energy state. And since the energy of a photon is related to its wavelength, that's why specific wavelengths of light from those objects are blanked. Population 1 stars are generally concentrated in the disk spirals of spiral galaxies. They have 2-3% of metal in them. For example, our Sun is a population 1 star. On a side note, Astrophysicists unironically call any element that isn't hydrogen or helium a metal because those are the two most dominant elements in the universe, which is extremely ironic considering the fact that most of those metals aren't really metal. Population 2 stars are stars that has 0.1 to 0.2% of metal in them. They're concentrated in galaxy bulge where the supermassive black hole of our galaxy is located, or globular clusters. They are generally older than population 1 stars and are less luminous. For example, the M15 globular cluster underneath our galaxy is populated with metal poor stars. And then there are population 3 stars, which we are still unable to find. They are the oldest generation of stars and they contain 0% of metal since they are composed of the elements that are formed after the Big Bang, which means they are the first generations of stars. They are also responsible for the creations of the heavier elements in population 1 and 2 stars via the process known as supernova. The most popular explanation of why there are no population 3 stars found is because due to the environment of the early universe being super dense and hot. All of the stars formed at that era is extremely massive and due to the fact that the stars' age are inversely proportional to its mass, all population 3 stars have either gone to become neutron stars or black holes, which makes analyzing their composition impossible. Early star formation is still a hot research topic, and a recent paper published at the Astrophysical Journal has stated that a group of astrophysicists have found a 30.5 billion year old low mass star inside our galaxy.